this dude's got a panda, I'm gonna take it. Bring it, bruh. Hey, what's going on, folks? I'm DeSauce, bringing you a brand new speed guy slash boss guide kill. Uh, today, we're gonna be covering the Obsidian Samurai. This was actually a really cool fight that I thoroughly enjoyed. So, uh, this boss specializes with his uh, axe, I do believe. Um, he is an NPC. Uh, humanoid based so he can be uh, susceptible to some of the more basic abilities uh, like the pool and the uh, leg sweep with the uh, ball and chain weapon. I really recommend the ball and chain just because um, the leg sweep is very very good to get off high bursts of damage with this boss. Um, the only thing is on occasion it did seem that the item would actually hit the boss but he wouldn't actually hit the ground. For this boss, I highly recommend that you take the wind talismans instead of the, my normal earth or fire, just because um, you know the wind does a damage debuff. So if you're currently affected by the wind status effect, you'll be having uh, significantly less damage output. Uh, as far as this boss's abilities go, if you've played with the axe, all of his abilities are fairly standard. Uh, you can see almost all of them. The only thing that I really wanted to point out that's unique to this boss fight are his abilities that deal with electricity and with his spirit guardian. So uh, with his spirit guardian, he can summon his panda bear to do a foot stomp, and that foot stomp will not only stun you and pretty much stagger you instantly, it'll also deal a significant amount of electrical damage. The other one is his heroic leap, uh, in which he'll leap towards the player and strike the ground with his axe, and this is going to deal a lot of damage with not only electricity, but also melee damage. Both of these you don't want to block, so best to avoid them by rolling. And also, like I've been saying for my last few boss guides, um, also you definitely want to take the Omni Magic Talismans, uh, especially for this fight. Not because he's fast, uh, ju just because uh, some of his animations are really long as is, so having that additional slow on him gives you more opportunity to you know, dodge and uh, counter some of his attacks. Around the 30% HP mark, this boss will switch to his Samurai Sword. He'll swap back and forth on occasion for his different attacks, um, but it looks like he normally st stood with a uh, high stance for the uh, higher damage output. So you want to really make sure that you know you're actively using your Sacred Water to constantly buff your um, stamina recovery. And as always, folks, if you found the content to be useful, please feel free to leave me said like, and uh, also click on the little sauce at the end. That way you can subscribe and stay up to date with my latest videos. And uh, until next time, folks, stay saucy.